Tonight, a couple is locked up accused of running unlicensed post operation centers all across Miami-Dade County. Yeah, police say behind closed doors they were caring for cosmetic surgery patients and the employees were making less than minimum wage. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister joins us from the jail where those suspects are being held tonight. Before Miami-Dade judge stood 33-year-old Tatiana Geraldo Torres and 32-year-old Juan Diego Ramirez. A couple police say we're running Tatiana's resort and spa, a business investigators say is unlicensed. They described it, basically described what's contained in there as well as it had maggots there consuming the blood that was on these pads. On social media, the business is advertised as a full service recovery center for post cosmetic surgery. One post claiming the business is run by an expert family leading the industry of plastic surgery recovery. But police made a much different discovery. Investigators say the couple was running their business out of three different homes in Northeast Miami-Dade, Doral, and the Tamiami area. When police obtained a search warrant for the home on Southwest 12th Terrace at the end of last month, officers say they found a patient and an employee. The employee told them they were paid $10 an hour by Geraldo Torres and Ramirez to care for the patients. The arrest report states that a subsequent inspection of trash containers, including the large green regular waste bin and recycling bin, which were located on the west side of the residence in front of the garage, was conducted and were fully loaded for regular trash in large quantities of contaminated plastics and cloth, adult diapers, gloves, medical absorbent pads, bed pads, and maggots consuming the blood were in the regular white trash bags for collection. A few days later, police received a call from patients reporting unprofessional behavior at another home in Northwest Miami-Dade on South Spur Drive. The patients told police they didn't feel safe there. A third recovery location was found at an apartment complex in Doral, where police say they found more patients being cared for by unlicensed people. The couple is facing several charges, including individual charges of organized scheme to defraud and witness tampering. For now, reporting from TGK, Anna McAllister, CBS News, Miami.